Hey, this is Justin Timberlake. Welcome to Sports Center. Banana, banana. Sports Center. I'll tell you who's going to win the NBA Finals. Stay tuned. I mean, am I hired? Tune, because when we come back, I'll tell you my favorite sports movie of all time. Here's a hint: it's Caddyshack. Justin Timberlake, we are rolling large here in Los Angeles at the at, at Sports Center. Uh, Justin Timberlake, actor, singer, dancer, comedian. Your stuff is funny, and now executive producer of a new reality show, uh, The Phone. That is correct. We know you're a big sports fan, so we thought about just having you perform, but we decided we'd do a top ten sports questions for Justin Timberlake instead. How about that? I, I love it. Let's go. All right, you're, you're going you're gonna to golf with Michael Jordan at the, the U.S. Open Challenge coming up. You're up one stroke going into 18. Do you pull out the big Bertha Diablo, or do you play it safe with the three wood? You can't play it safe, mm -hmm. especially you up one stroke. You'd probably be up more than one stroke, though. <laughs> you got to pull out the Diablo and go deep. What's the bigger thrill, hitting the perfect drive on the first tee or performing in front of 100,000 people? Hitting the perfect drive on the first tee in front of 100,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> what football is bigger in Tennessee? You're, you're a Tennessee football fan. The, the Titans or the Volunteers? Ooh, I'm going to have to go Volunteers. You know, I mean, there's nothing like... The Titans have had... Uh, they had, a, they had a really good year last year up until the red zone of the playoffs. But uh, it's, it's vol country. Ultimate golf foursome. You and... Myself, Ben Hogan, um, Bobby Jones, and my dad. Sentimental. I know. But I went there. Best sports movie ever. Ooh, let's see. We got Field of Dreams. We got The Natural. We got Hoosiers. Um, I'm going to have to go Caddyshack. You're going to start an NBA franchise. Who do you pick first? Kobe. Why? That's, uh, you just, he finds a way to get everyone involved. I think just his presence is, uh, is enough. All right, GQ just named Justin Timberlake the most stylish man in America. I paid for that, actually. Right. <laughs> hey, well, it worked. <laughs> Whatever worked. Who's the most stylish athlete? It's, it's a toss-up between Beckham and, uh, and LeBron, but I think I'd have to go LeBron just because if you're almost seven feet tall, it, it takes a lot more effort to be stylish. I saw him coming out of a restaurant in Los Angeles recently with shades, that, you know, like stunner shades on, and I was like, wow. <laughs> You're doing it real big, LeBron. <laughs> you know who you are. You have the last shot. Who do you give it to? Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. Why? I, you see, oh, because you just seen him make that shot. You put the ball in Kobe's hands. I can't think of anybody that I would feel more trusting to put the ball in their hand. All right, I'm not afraid to admit this. I have a man crush on Barry Melrose. Oh, okay. Uh, g give me any. That's easy to have a, a man crush on Barry <laughs> who Melrose. Who doesn't? I mean, give me an athlete that you have a man crush on. I go with LeBron again. I go with LeBron. He just, you know, <laughs> he just lights me up. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback, running back, or sexy back? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. I want to hear your answer. <laughs> um, cornerback. <laughs> I just, I, the cornerback, the thief. That's the one I want to play. All right, that's, that's our top ten. Stan, we've got a bonus question. Lakers or Cavaliers? Everybody assumes it's going to come down to the two of them. I, I got to go Lakers. I do think the Lakers got the Cavs number. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. The man has spoken. Call your man. Write it down. Justin Timberlake in Los Angeles on SportsCenter. He Thanks, brought man. sexy back. <laughs> I tried. <laughs>